Hi, Monica here with another hip hop dance tutorial. After watching this video, you'll have three go-to moves that will look amazing on you, even if you're just starting out. Stick around till the end of this video. I'm going to show you how to combine those movements into a little mini routine and how to do them with music. For the best social dance advice and tutorials, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified whenever I'm posting a new video. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Monica, and I help men and women feel great on the dance floor, dancing in social settings. If you would like to become more confident when dancing in front of other people at any social event, uh, I am hosting a free masterclass where I'm going to be teaching you how to accomplish being confident and how to learn permanent dance skills in three simple steps. Spots are limited and you can register for it at the link below this video in the description. I'll be teaching you the same exact strategy that I used on myself and thousands of my clients. All right, we're going to start with a movement that's very groovy. <laughs> there will be some footwork involved. Uh, I want you to start with the knees bent and we're going to keep them bent the entire time. You're going to lift one foot and turn it in, kind of like you kicking the ball perhaps. <laughs> This is what the movement reminds me of. So you're turning the foot in, and then you're going to switch, other side, in, and then same movement, but twice. Same foot twice, okay? So we have up, 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 and up. I want you to be low, because if you do it with straight legs, this is what it looks like. Let me demonstrate. Mm, yeah, so now you know. <laughs> so I want us to be low, and then if you can do it, every time you turn the foot in, you can bounce even lower, you see? So every single time you bend, every single time you lift the foot, you're going to bend the other knee, the other leg. Let's try slowly with the count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because there's a lot going on, I don't want anything specific with the arms, especially that those are beginner movements. So feel free to keep the arms bent. Just don't tense them, because then the entire move will look tense. So for this one, you're just going to lift the heel two times off the floor. So let's start on one leg. The other one is free. This is the one that will be moving. And you're just going to go up, down, up. When you're bringing the heel down, you're going to shift weight onto that heel, onto that foot. And then the other foot is free. The other heel is free to go up, down, up. Again, we have up, down, up, switch, up, down, up again up down up and up down up we need to add a little bit of bouncing to it so let's again do our knee bend i use this one uh, a lot in hip-hop so whenever the heel goes up your body will be dropping down let's uh, see how this one looks we have one two three four five six, seven, eight. You don't have to lift the heel all the way up, just keep it, you know, keep the movement small. The knee bend is small as well, the arms are not doing anything. And our last movement, we're going to start actually the way we're set up now with the feet apart. You're going to um, do a quick replacement of the feet. So first, you're going to bring the foot, you can just mirror me, together with the other foot, and then the other foot goes to the side, and it will be very quick. So look, we started here, we have step, step, same. Then the foot that's out, you're going to bring it in, the other foot goes to the side, and then you keep switching. I'm going to do it a few times quicker, just so you have the uh, look of it. Boom, 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 see? And notice my foot is just touching the floor with the toes, I'm not, shifting the weight onto that foot, the heel stays up. Let's try slowly with the count. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, 
and three and four and five and six and seven and eight if this is easy because here we're just moving the feet and you want to add a little bit of body into it feel free the movement that i like to do with this um, side of replacement of the feet is the twist it kind of goes with it naturally so if i'm having my uh, let's say right foot out my body's twisting the opposite way so it's twisting to the left and then you switch see so it's always the opposite way from the foot that's uh, touching the floor with the toes hopefully that makes sense let's try slow five six seven eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and Eight. I'm staying low the entire time. I'm not even going up and down. I'm not bouncing in this one. My body stays on the same level. So then I can focus on the quick replacement of the feet. Let me put it together into a mini routine. But before that, let me know which move did you like the best? Put one, two or three in the comments below. Let me know. All right, so we're going to start with the first movement, uh, the one where we kick the ball. <laughs> we have one, two, three, four five six seven eight then double heel up one two three four and five and six and seven and eight that's it let's try it again five six seven stay low one two three four five six seven eight one two three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, five, six, seven, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Let's try again. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good, this is how you connect the three steps together, but how do you actually use them in your freestyle when you're dancing in the club, at the party, at the wedding? If you want to build up the confidence to dance in front of other people at different social settings, I am hosting a free masterclass. I still have spots available for it. So if you want to learn more about how you can become that confident dancer, check it out. You can register at the link below this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, click the like button, subscribe, share it with your friends, click the notifications bell so you're notified whenever I'm posting a new video every week. I'll see you soon. Bye.